here. We're getting, uh, Lori's going to bring by the sweat pledge. Grab the one in the frame, too. That's important. That'd be a good promo. Get your own. Frame it. Put it on a wall. $12. How do you say no? Right? C9, take two. Soft sticks. All in? Set. I guess the weirdest audition I ever had was in uh, 1990, right before I was hired as a show host uh, on the QVC Cable Shopping Channel. QVC had a recruiting challenge in those days. Experienced salespeople weren't always good on TV, and experienced TV people didn't always know how to sell. So QVC stopped looking for experienced people and started looking for people who could talk for eight minutes straight about a pencil. <laughs> for whatever reason, I was able to do that. And uh, as a result, I got myself a three-month probationary trial on the air. In hindsight, it was a great way to learn. Three hours on live television with no script, no prompter, no delay, and no second takes. It was a true baptism by fire. Partly because I'd never been on TV before and partly because I had no idea what any of the products were or how they worked. And QVC had literally thousands of products in their inventory. That first night, I took my position behind a desk on this giant rotating stage. Every five minutes or so, a stagehand would bring me some gadget that I'd never seen before. The Amcor negative ion generator, the hand-painted Hummels, a diamondique necklace. The possibilities were endless. My job was to present these items to a narcoleptic audience of chronic insomniacs who tuned in to watch new hosts crash and burn, which apparently happened with great frequency. Anyway, my first half hour on the air was not good. They brought me this thing called a cat sack, which was basically a paper bag lined with mylar that made a crinkling sound that cats apparently found uh, irresistible. I talked about the cat sack for 10 minutes. No one bought any. Then they brought me a lava lamp. They called it a genuine lava lamp, which led me to conclude there might have been actual lava inside. Nobody bought any of those either. And then they brought me something called the Health Team Infrared Pain Reliever. Now, I had no idea what this thing did or how it worked. It looked like a miniature flashlight with a cord dangling out the end. All I knew for sure was that it cost $29.99 and promised to relieve pain when applied directly to the troubled area. So I looked into the camera and I said, folks, I'm gonna be honest with you. I have no idea what this thing is, but if you do, maybe you could call the 800 number on the bottom of the screen. The producer will put you on the air and then you could educate me. Well, 10 seconds later, something extraordinary happened. People started to call the number. A nice lady named Carol explained exactly what the product did and told me she was very satisfied with hers. She also told me uh, I had nice eyes. After that, things got a little weird, but fun. With each new product, more viewers called in to educate me. Sales picked up, and soon I started to have a pretty good time. Now remember, this is all before the internet. I needed information on thousands of items in QVC's inventory, and I didn't have time to research them. So I found a new source of education that turned out to be invaluable, the viewers themselves. I not only made it through my probationary period, I stayed at QVC for the next three years and learned everything I needed to know about working in television. I also turned the graveyard shift into my own personal late night talk show. And QVC's customers became my guests. To this day, all the ideas I get for the shows I work on originate with the viewer. Likewise, all of those shows highlight the people who actually watch them. Point is, education is critical to success. Doesn't matter where you get it from. Universities are fine if you can afford them. But apprenticeships are also a great option, and so are trade schools and community colleges and on-the-job training programs. 
and in my case, the people who watch me. That was my apprenticeship and a big lesson. Anyone can learn from anybody. And don't forget the device you're watching this on. Right now, you have access to 95% of all of the known information in the world. YouTube has more lectures for more professors than anybody could possibly watch over the next four years. There is simply no excuse anymore to be uninformed because information and knowledge have never been so accessible. That's why nobody needs to go in the hock for a college degree they can't afford. You got options, and the options are everywhere. I believe that my education is my responsibility and absolutely critical to my success. I am resolved to learn as much as I can from whatever source is available to me. I will never stop learning, and I understand that library cards are free. I would like a... Uh... Half roasted chicken? What? Half roasted chicken? Half a chicken? Jesus, it's lunch. It's not a luau. <laughs>